The possibilities are endless if you set your mind to it. That's the message one man is spreading through opening up about his journey with Tourette's syndrome. Tourette's syndrome is, is, is exhausting, um, but for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm used to the movements. Craig started showing symptoms at a young age. Tourette's syndrome runs in his family. There, there are various things that, that affect the, the frequency of my tics. His tics were suppressed for several years, but are now back. It is kind of like I had to... <laughs> you know, relearn, I, you know, started to, to dive into researching Tourette's syndrome and finding more and more about it. <laughs> and <laughs> it, uh, it, it was just so eye-opening. Ticks usually show up between the ages of 2 and 15, with the average age around 6 years old. It's three to four times more likely for males to develop Tourette's syndrome than females. Tick disorders are not rare. In fact, it's estimated that one out of every 160 children between 5 to 17 has Tourette's syndrome, and there is no cure for it. I'm just not going to let it slow me down. Just, I just kind of keep going with it. And he hasn't. I always knew I wanted to be a police officer ever since a young age. He's known as Officer Craig in Minnesota. You know, the more I look back on it, it's just... It's you know, it's kind of a calling, I guess you could say. Is this? I, I never wanted to do really anything other than than being a police officer and, and just helping people. Something he does through his job on the streets, but also by opening up to share his story. Uh, in regards to uh, Tourette syndrome affecting my job, um, it really doesn't. The biggest issue with Tourette syndrome in law enforcement is just telling people I have Tourette's syndrome. You know, the, the, the questions I get is, you know, <clears throat> what's wrong with you? <clears throat> Do you need some water? <clears throat> Do you have the hiccups? What's that noise? You know, just, just things like that because they're <clears throat> obviously seeing something that's not, you know, normal. What's, what's that? <clears throat> what? The noise. He's now continued those conversations online, where he's gained tens of thousands of followers as he shares more about the man behind the badge. Accepting yourself and your diagnosis is one thing, but then, you know, putting it out there for the world to see was, you know, quite honestly, it was scary to me at first. To be able to, you know, bring awareness and education about a disorder that's, you know, rarely talked about and that's, that's often misunderstood. And you know, to to inspire and and bring confidence to to kids and and so just to anyone really that that has Tourette syndrome. And he's doing just that as his inbox fills up with messages from parents thankful for his willingness to open up. The feedback I've gotten from my channels has been just just overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> you know, from from parents with with children with with Tourette syndrome to even adults that have Tourette syndrome. <laughs> Tourette syndrome is. Is, is a lonely disorder. <laughs> you know, there, a lot of people have it, but the, the world is big, you know, so those people are, are, are spread out. So, you know, there may be only one child in an entire town that, that, that has Tourette syndrome. So they don't, don't really have anybody that they can, you know, connect with on, on the level of, you know, the, the disorder. Some parents, they're, they're, their child is the first person that they've ever, you know, been with or, or, or know that, that has Tourette syndrome. So they're just, they just, they don't know much about the disorder. They're, they're concerned for their child's future. They just, they don't know what type of future their, their child can have with, with a disorder like Tourette syndrome. Officer Craig, a reminder that sometimes the only limits you set for yourself are the ones you believe. When they come across my page and, and, and see someone, you know, in, in a profession such as law enforcement, um, just it gives them hope, you know, it, it, it you know, kind of gives them a, a sense of relief that they know that their child is going to be able to accomplish whatever they want, regardless of Tourette's syndrome. And I don't want kids or, or parents to feel alone or scared of, of what their future is going to hold. So, you know, just even if I reach, you know, one or two people, I mean, I think that's I, I do just fine with that. And there's no doubt he's done just that. You can li live a, a, a full, rich life with, with a disorder. The disorder should not <laughs> prevent you or stop you from doing <clears throat> from doing anything that, that you want to do. You know, to give them that, that, <clears throat> that confidence that the, they can do anything that they put their mind to, <clears throat> regardless of Tourette syndrome. <clears throat> To follow along on his journey, you can find him at Tourette's Comp on Instagram and Facebook.